हेलो फ्रेंड्स सबका स्वागत है इजी डेंटिस्ट्री में फ्रेंड्स प्लीज इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और कमेंट्स करके हमें बताएं आपको ये चैनल कैसा लग रहा है तो आज हम पढ़ेंगे डेंटिस्ट्री का बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक जो है डेवलपमेंट ऑफ टूथ इस टॉपिक को हम तीन पार्ट्स में पढ़ेंगे इन फर्स्ट पार्ट वी वुड स्टडी अबाउट डेंटल लमाइना मॉर्फोलॉजिकल स्टेजेस ऑफ टूथ डेवलपमेंट हर्थविक सिपीथिलियल रूट शीट एंड हिस्टोलॉजिक स्टेजेस ऑफ टूथ डेवलपमेंट इन पार्ट टू वी वुड स्टडी अबाउट अमीलोजेनेसिस एंड इन पार्ट थ्री वी वुड स्टडी अबाउट डेंटिनोजेनेसिस ऑल दो इन टेक्सट बुक्स अमीलोजेनेसिस एंड डेंटिनोजेनेसिस इज गिवन अंडर डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स इफ दीज बट इफ दीज टॉपिक्स आर स्टडीड विद डेवलपमेंट ऑफ टूथ इट बिकम्स वेरी ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड सो लेट्स बिगिन development of tooth comes under dental embryology generally students face a lot of difficulty in understanding embryology but all you need to understand is you have to develop your strong imagination the more you imagine the more easily you will understand the subject so let's imagine a developing embryo suppose this is a developing embryo this is the developing mouth of the embryo which is called as the stomodium and this is the developing gut of the embryo which is called as the foregut now this stomodium is lined by an epithelium which is called as the oral ectoderm this is the oral ectoderm and this uh, for foregut is lined by an epithelium which is called as the endoderm now this ectoderm and endoderm comes in contact with each other by a, a delicate membrane which is called as the buccopharyngeal membrane now what happens when the embryo is 27 days old this buccopharyngeal membrane it ruptures and a connectivity is formed between the stomodium and the foregut now we would be concentrating on this stomodium which in which the future tooth will develop now suppose this is the oral ectoderm and ben beneath this oral ectoderm there is a connective tissue which is called as the ectomesenchyme now what happens when the embryo is 6 weeks old this ectomesenchyme sends some signal to the ectoderm these signals are nothing but the instructions to the oral ectoderm to begin with the tooth development then how does this oral ectoderm reacts to these signals certain areas of the oral ectoderm they proliferate more rapidly than the other areas to form knob like structures which invade into the underlying connective tissue this oral ectoderm is now called as the primary epithelial band we all know that the maxillary and mandibular arches are horseshoe shaped if we imagine the primary epithelial band in horseshoe shaped structure it will look like this now when the embryo is 7 week old what happens is that this primary epithelial band is divided into two processes the outer process and the inner process the outer process is called as the vestibular lamina while the inner process is called as the dental lamina now this dental lamina is the site of formation of the primary teeth now the question arises where does the permanent teeth arise so there is also a lingual extension of this dental lamina and this is called as the successional lamina and this successional lamina gives rise to the permanent incisors canines and premolars 
Now you would ask where does the permanent molars arise then? The dental lamina has got a distal extension. This distal extension is re responsible for the for, uh, development of the permanent first, second and the third molar. Also keep it in mind, this successional lamina is functional for 5th month in utero to 10th month of age. While this distal extension of the dental lamina is functional from 4th month in utero till 4 years of age. Now, to brush up, the dental lamina gives rise to the primary teeth. The successional lamina, it gives rise to the permanent incisors, canines and the premolars. While the distal extension of the dental lamina gives rise to the permanent first, second and the third molars. Now, what is the fate of the dental lamina? The total activity of the dental lamina is for 5 long years. Some parts of the dental lamina function for a short time while the others, other parts function for a longer time. For example, in the third molar region, the dental lamina is active for up to 5 years of age. Also, as the tooth development continues, the teeth loses its contact with the dental lamina. Now, sometimes the remnants of the dental lamina are seen in the jaws and gingiva in the form of epithelial island. These islands are called as cell res of ceres. Now, what happens to the vestibular lamina? We have earlier seen that the primary epithelial band, it divides into the buccal and a lingual process. The buccal process is called as the vestibular lamina or the lip furrow band. And this lip furrow band, it hollows out to form the oral vestibule, which is a space between the alveolar portion of the jaws and the lips and cheek. So, in this lecture, we have studied about the basics of stomodium, details of dental lamina, its formation, the primary epithelial band, the dental lamina proper, the successional lamina and the distal extension of the dental lamina. We have also uh, studied the functions of each one of these and the fate of the dental lamina. We have also studied about the vestibular lamina. In le next lecture, we will be studying about the actual process of tooth development and how does it appear in various morphological stages? Friends, we take a lot of effort to prepare these videos and we refer only and only standard books because we want you to understand the concept of the topic. So please, please subscribe to our channel and let us know your valuable feedback. That's all for now. See you soon with our next lecture. Bye.